I'm going to show you a few techniques on how to make perfectly decorated fairy cakes. We all know cupcakes, but we're going to bring back the old British fairy cake. So, what I'm going to show you is four different techniques using buttercream icing and some rolled out fondant icing. If you're going to fill a piping bag, all you need to do is put the piping bag with the nozzle into a jug and then you can open up the piping bag and you can fill it quite easily because your hands will be free. So with your hand at the bottom using it to direct the piping bag and the hands at the top is doing the pressure to squeeze the icing out of the bag. So you want to make sure the icing goes right up to the edge of the case and make sure as much as possible that the icing bag is vertical. So with even pressure slowly just move the icing bag around the edge. You've got plenty of time so don't rush it and then go over the top half and then when you finish ease off on the pressure and just pull the bag up and you should get a lovely little peak like that. So you end up with a perfect little fairy cake. So that's the first technique. The second one, I'm going to use a chocolate icing. Well, this is the same buttercream icing. All I've done is added in some cocoa powder. So taking another fairy cake, what I'm going to do is a rosette pattern. So again, keeping the piping bag quite upright and again using this lower hand to direct the bag and again the upper hand to squeeze. So what you want to do is push down and then ease off the pressure and pull away. And just keep doing that around the fairy cake. Move it slightly with your hand rather than moving the piping bag. And then pull away. As you do it and get more practice it becomes easier and easier. And again just keep rotating around. Now you can do a double layer if you wanted to. But I am just going to do a single layer. And what we're going to do to finish off the middle bit is just do a big rosette in the middle. So squeeze a bit harder and then pull away. And you end up with a really little cute different idea to the swirl. Then for the third technique using buttercream icing, take another fairy cake. I've just got some pink icing here that I've made using red colouring. Just add as much as you want to your desired colour. Then get the little palette knife and you want to use the case to sort of help you spread on the actual icing itself. So you just move that around, I might put a little bit more on there, good to be a little bit generous. And again, move the case around, not your palette knife. So you do that, this is when you rotate the case in your hand and then use the palette knife just to smooth it off, a little bit like so, and to cover it all and then at the end you can just go back over it until you are happy. So there we go, we've got three different ideas using buttercream icing. The fourth technique is to use ready-made icing. You just roll out between two pieces of cling wrap like I've done here, put the icing on top then put another piece of cling wrap on top of that and then what you do is you roll it out to your desired thickness and then it saves on any mess on the work surface. So I've chosen to do black and yellow, a bit of a bumblebee theme. And what you want to do is take the fairy cake that you want to decorate. I'm going to use some cutters. I've got round ones and some star ones. You just want to make sure you get a cutter the right size to fit just inside the case itself. So I think I'm going to do a black disc first of all. This is great. You can get kids to help you. If you get them to roll it out, they can use the cutters, etc and you can help them to put it on top. Now you don't need to have anything to stick it on there. So position it on like that. And then this is where you can have lots of fun. You can use maybe the star cutter with the yellow. And again, we can just position that on the top, like so. And you can see how simple it is to make a really striking design straight away. I'm going to just finish mine off with a little round black circle. So there's a whole host of ideas you can do. With the ones that I've done with buttercream icing, you can use any toppings. We've got little chocolate sprinkles here, 
some colored balls, mini marshmallows. I think I'm gonna put a few chocolate sprinkles on there just to jazz that up a bit. And maybe some pink and white little marshmallows on top of there. I might just put them in the center. But again, have as much fun as you like. The kids love dipping into this and sprinkling them over. You see, mess everywhere, that's what we love. And then you've got some pretty little ideas. We've even got some sweets here that you can buy and you can pop those on as well. So over here, we've just got a little selection of what I've done. And there we go. Easy as that.